Yo yo, it's Kevin from West End Games here and I'm on my way to GP Utrecht. Now I go to a fair amount of these international magic events and there's been a bit of buzz around the shop recently about what's actually involved in playing in one of these. So what I thought would be useful to people in West End Games and anyone else out there interested in maybe attending one of these events would be if I put together a video diary of my trip. So what's happened here is we have just arrived at Edinburgh Airport and we're going to be flying out to Schiphol. So I'll talk to you when we get to Schiphol. So our flight got delayed, we're still in Edinburgh, but the cool thing is we managed to meet up with all of the Edinburgh players, and that's one of my favourite things about coming to these events. You just get to meet all the players from all over Scotland, and you're just like one big team. So again, like we're all rooting for each other, we're all talking about decks, we're just playing cards a minute ago. Like one of the best things is meeting all your friends from all over the country and your international friends. I'm going to meet up with my English friends, uh, folk I met at Worlds this year. Once we get to the GP. So th that's one of the really fantastic things about it. You are just one part of one big magic family. So again, I'll touch down with you when we touch down in Skipo. So that's us landed in Skipo. Uh, absolutely knackered. Uh, such a long day of travelling, especially the flight delays and stuff. Uh, I've been separated from the rest of the group. I was away trying to get my flights changed so that I could come home with the rest of the guys on Monday, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen now. So I'll be coming home myself on Tuesday. But right now I'm heading off to the train station. Uh, which is right under the airport, which is pretty handy. Uh, the rest of the guys already bought me a ticket and then that's going to get us a direct train right to Utrecht. Brandon has found these things uh, and they're apparently like licorice shop. He's on. I mean, I mean, you're getting Brandon on a credit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that guy. Very left out. Exactly. Nathaniel, look at this thing. Look at this. It makes me a little bit like a good salt shock. That's fucking <laughs> vital. <laughs> Cardboard, right? What are you doing? Doing a Dutch word search. Ah, this this is tells you what to do. You should definitely come with GPs, folks. This is what it's all about. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, so it's quarter past midnight, and that's us finally got to the B and B. So <laughs> this is our abode. Brandon's already in bed. Okay, <laughs> Oh, I check this out. I really need a shit. <laughs> You've just been that far. Oh, the bomb's gone up too. <laughs> <laughs> Some classy stuff. And here is the masterpiece. Here yeah, is this. This spicy <laughs> Abzan brew that we're going to use to take down green, black, and vehicles tomorrow. Green, black, and vehicles. <laughs> green, black, and vehicles. <laughs> What are you on, Will? Um, John the Energy Agro. And it's still not built. It's, it's, getting, it's getting there. This is, this is midnight before the event, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you just said that. I mean, you've been on a dick list yet. Living the pro-player life here at GPU Trek. So, we've been up since about quarter to seven. And that's us walking out of the GP right now. We've got Hi. lovely Dutch morning here. Uh, so aye, it was a bit of an early start, but I'm all G'd up and dragged Brandon out of his bed, even though he's got two buys. Time the player meeting, which is basically the you get your deck list, you hand in your consent form, you have your play mat, you have your promo. Um, looking around people's deck lists on my table, it's a lot of green black, which seems really good. Uh, round one's being paired right now. Uh, I've got a buy, which we still need to play that, so that's pretty good for you and for me. Um, but I'll touch in with you at the start of round two. So after a wee coffee, heading over to our first match, round two, table two, two, two seven two, wish me luck. That's me just finished game two, uh, and I got exactly what I wanted. Played against Green Black, uh, managed to beat a nice German guy, lovely, lovely opponent. Uh, beat him 2 -0. so I'm waiting to hand in my match slip. Uh, it's a really good start to the tournament. It's nice when you win your first one. So I stayed in the round two. Uh, picked up a loss there, unfortunately. Uh, played against a really good Russian guy. Uh, super pleasure to play against though. Um, There's a couple of judge, judge calls, but nothing too serious. Uh, but the best thing about it was. Uh, 
he was playing all Russian cards. Uh, we had to make a big judge call um, about uh, Tamio, so I had no idea what the card did because it was in Russian. Um, but yeah, the, all the all the Russian cards look super pretty. Uh, so then the game asked him if he would trade me an English Oath and Nissa for a Russian Oath and Nissa. And he said he wants to keep his playset together, so I offered to trade the whole playset, and he did. So, yes. Playset of Russian Oath and Nissa's. Uh, again, that's what I was saying before. This is one of the great things about the GPs. Are you're playing with people from all over the world, um, and you get these experiences. Like, I'm, I'm never going to trade these now. This is like a magic memory for me, getting these Russian Oath and Nissa's. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully I can pick up the slack in round three. Yeah, so that's me at the end of round five now. Uh, I picked up a win in round four, playing against Black Red Aggro. Uh, that, was, that was pretty straightforward. Um, and then I played against like the pseudo mirror uh, in round five there. Uh, just a guy playing black green. Uh, so basically the same deck as me, not having fume against. So he had like, main deck Gontes um, and some of the black black two threes, the vampire night penguins. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd like a, a, I cast Painful Truth on turn three uh, in game two. So I'd, I, th I thought I had that game, but I just started drawing lands towards the end, and he was stuck on five, which is exactly what you want to be. Just you can cast everything, um, and you've got a handful of spells. Whereas I'm just I've got about twelve lands and play by the end of the game. Um, so yeah, a bit disappointing to pick up that one, um, but yeah, got four more rounds to play, uh, so need to win out. So yeah, got that. Uh, End around six, four and two. Feeling pretty good about that. The, it was a really, really tight game against Mardu Vircles. Uh, it shouldn't be that tight. But his, his sideboard just turned him into this big mid range deck. Uh, that I wasn't really equipped to deal with until game three. But um, that Kalatas and the sideboard really paid off. And I brought in some transgressors because they went so mid range uh, and caught him out that way. So yeah, four and two. Feeling good about that. And here's the team Scotland. All sitting on four and two. Set from Big Wayne. Last hope for Scottish Magic. We can't go on to Four and two. Oh, look at the sad face that Jimmy Love. That's a man who's went four and two. Right around seven on table. One eight two. Oh, yeah. uh, so end around seven. Um, I play against Maldu Vircles, uh, play a really close game one, uh, and then I'm only at five in game two and get absolutely run over. So that's me four and three. Uh, yeah, the, the third loss is always, always really sucks. Um, but I'm still, still in day two contention. Uh, just going to need to play for those pro points now, uh, so I need to rattle off two more wins, and then that's me in day two. So. We'll see how that goes. Uh, yep, so that's the end of round eight, and I kept a hand, I thought it was really good. Uh, There's Shambling Vents, Concealed Courtyard, Swamp, Fatal Push, Grasp, Gisela, and a Tracker. I was like, yeah, that's fair, I can't, I can't cast this Tracker, but this is going to roll over whatever green, black, whatever Maldu deck this guy's playing. And he goes, um, he goes turn one, Sunken Hollow, I'm like, and that's, that's all she wrote, ladies and gents. Um, yeah, just get run over that game because I don't do anything against this control deck. Uh, I win game two uh, because he thinks I'm a hard control deck. I get him with Scrappy Scoundrels, then game three, it uh, all just kind of falls apart. Uh, so, four and four, that's me out of day two contention. Uh, it does mean pub. Uh, I'm going to play round nine uh, just for the points, try and get some more buys for next time. But yeah, this is where the GP ends for me as far as playing Magic goes, but I'll hopefully bring you some of the other stuff that goes on, uh, and uh, that's really the reason these things are worth coming to. I mean, you can play Magic anywhere, but the sort of experiences you're going to get uh, from going to the GPs only happens at GPs, and um, hopefully I'll get a couple of highlights of that, hopefully course the next few hours. Yeah, round nine. Uh, so, I mean, I won my last round in the GP, uh, so five and four, not enough for a day two. But I mean, I, I'm happy with my I'm happy with my result. Uh, I thought my deck was really sweet. I met a lot of really cool people. Uh, I got those Russian cards, and like I said, and like what I was saying before, like the thing about this GP, these GP things, they're not a. I mean, they are about playing Magic, but really, they're about using Magic as a way to see the world. I mean, look at this. Look where I am. 
I'm having a beer by a canal in a little Dutch in a little Dutch town, and I mean, I wouldn't be doing this playing in my local game store. Like, this just shows how far this game has taken me. Like, I, I'm literally travelling the world playing a game that I love, um, and I'm here with some great folk, and I've met some fantastic people, and I've had some great food, and I'm about to have a fantastic night. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it, I'm disappointed to not make day two. But I'm still going to... I've still got a holiday out of it. And all I'm going to say is I highly, highly recommend going to one of these GPs. And I hope that comes across in these videos that magic has highs and lows, but the places it takes you and the people you do it with are what it's all about. Um, so I'll probably do some more filming tomorrow, but I mean, as far as day one of the GP went, it's fantastic. Cheers. Hey, so it's Sunday morning now. Uh, had a good night out last night. Uh, I've just taken full advantage of the sleep in special, which is no making day two and sleeping until 11 o'clock. So it's a much later start for me today. Uh, so we're heading out of the venue now. Uh, going to root on some of the Scottish guys who did make day two. We play we've got a two headed giant. Two headed yeah. giant, Jack. <laughs> so I'm going to play some side events, see how folk are getting on. Um, I'm flying home tonight, so I decided to skip out on the PPT on the PTQ. Uh, but there's always that. There's normally a Super Sunday series or a PTQ or something happening, some big event with a high payout. Uh, so if you are kicking about and flying home to Monday, that's normally a good thing to get involved in. But yep, yeah. so. Catching soon. Hey, yeah. Uh, so I'm just want to do a quick sign off for this. Um, so right now I'm I'm back at my home. I wanted to do my sign off from Skeepal Airport, but I got there and I found a quiet spot. And I just got a lot of work done that had to be done. So I didn't manage to do it. Then I've said to myself, I'll do it when I get to Edinburgh Airport. And then when I got to Edinburgh Airport, my bag was missing in the carousel. So I just had to deal with that. I just wanted to get out of Edinburgh Airport as quickly as possible. So this is me back at my house now. And I just wanted to let you know what happened with the rest of the, the rest of the weekend. So we went back to the convention centre, saw some folk, uh, cheered on some of the Scottish guys that were doing really well. And then a bunch of us went to Amsterdam and had a great day in Amsterdam uh, before I got my flight home. Uh, I mean, it sucks I didn't get to stay for... I didn't get to stay tonight. But I've got work tomorrow on Monday, so I don't have that luxury, unfortunately. Uh, just a Friday, Saturday, Sunday job for me. Um, but basically if this video hasn't already convinced you, I just want to reiterate that these GPs are fantastic fun. You get to play a ton of magic, you get to meet a ton of great people, you get to see the world, like honestly, if you're even considering a GP, I highly, highly, highly recommend going. It's an experience that you won't forget. Um, and especially if you get to travel with people that you don't normally interact with because honestly like the the guys I went with only a couple of them uh, I was very well acquainted with and honestly by by the end of that all the guys that I went there with and stayed with um, I'm so much closer to now um, so it's great for making friends great for seeing the world honestly do it GPs are fantastic so yeah until the next one peace out